Beverages in large refreshment. Nuts. Beverages in large refreshment. Nuts. A gin and tonic, please. What? 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 My wife would like a gin and tonic. Do you think that's a good idea, sir? I think it's a great idea. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I knew you'd say that. Your wife needs help. What are you implying? She shouldn't have any more. I haven't had any. She's embarrassing herself. And this disabled child. She's not embarrassing anybody. She's on holiday and she just wants a drink. She just wants a drink and you're going to give it to her. It's so sad. It's so sad she's a horrid alcoholic, Marla. She's not actually an alcoholic. Admitting you're an alcoholic is the first step towards not being an alcoholic. She's not even drunk. She's slurring her words. She had a stroke four years ago. Is that supposed to be an innuendo, sir? Oh. Just because I am a woman. And I understand that you are sexually frustrated and your wife's looks have crumbled. But that does not mean that you can treat us as your expensive playthings. Just because we are extremely sexually attractive to you, it does not mean you can regale us with your sexual exploits with your alcoholic wife. Maybe if you were richer, or if this were the 60s. When leisure aviation had its heyday, Marla. When leisure aviation had its heyday, thank you, Jodine. Then the answer would be, yes, I will come with you into the toilets and give you a happy landing, or a stroke, as you call it. But frankly, that's a cheap suit, and you can't afford me. No, you can't. You, sir, will not be getting any nuts. Oh, it makes me sick to my stomach, Mama. I can't believe what we have to endure in this job, Jadine. I feel really dirty. Are you okay? No.